Hello, this is Terry Bork, your attraction marketing mentor. I am a divorced mom of two amazing teenagers, and I became involved in social media marketing because the ceiling cap was placed on my income through corporate America, and the only way for me to be, do, and have everything that I wanted in my life was to go out and forge my own path, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Currently, we're working on creating your executive signature file for your email, your blog, and um, your Aweber account. And this is video number two in our three video series. Um, if you remember on our previous video, I showed you how to create your unique signature using My Live Signature. And this time, what I'm going to show you how to do is actually to get your photograph up, your contact information, and finally your social profiles listed so that you'll be able to put these things out on your Gmail account or your, your um, email account and your blog. So let's go ahead and get this started. If you remember on our last tutorial, we were setting up a program for Betty Boop. Okay, so we have Betty's... Um, signature all created and now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a photograph so how do we do that well I actually um, don't have photos that are you know that little tiny size so I need to resize a photograph and you may have that instance too because you don't want to put a big huge photograph on your computer for your signature you just want a little a little tiny one I like to use a resizing program called Irfin View and this is a free download. You know that I'm all about value and bringing you awesome tools um, that cost you nothing. So if you come over to earthandview.com, you're going to click on the download button over here, and it's going to bring you out to the CNET site where you can actually download the file. Once you get that all downloaded, you're going to bring up the, um, the screen. It's going to be a big blank screen where you'll actually be able to do your work. Okay, so let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Okay, so we have our screen here on Earth and View. I'm actually going to go out to my files where I keep all my photographs, and I'm going to find the one that I would like to resize. I'm going to resize, uh, let's see, number four. Okay, so I have this video, right, this one right here that I want to resize. Now, as you can see, this is way too big for me to put into my... Um, um, signature so I'm going to resize it so I'm going to bring it come down here to where it says oops um, which one is it uh, resize oh image and resize is this one resize and resample okay so this this pay, this is 636 by 763 again way too big don't want to use one this size so I'm going to bring it down I like to use something about 100 now when you do the width at 100 the height automatically is going to populate itself so let's see what happens and here you have it we've got a nice size picture and what I'm going to want to do is go out to that same location and I'm going to save this file um, save this um, so I know where to find it. So let's call it um, um, Headshot 2. Okay, so I save this to my Headshots folder. Okay, so now we're all finished with this. The next thing we need to do is we need to give it HTML code. Well, how do we do that? We actually have to go out to uh, a site that will sh store your photographs for you and um, you'll be able to grab the HTML code. So the way you do that is you're going to go to a place called Photobucket, and that's photobucket.com. Once you go into photobucket.com, you're going to log in, get your free account, and then after you establish your free account, you're going to come over here and select Upload Images and Videos. You'll then go back out to your site where you put your file, your, your, um, your photo that you resized. Here's mine, headshot number two and I'm going to um, bring it over here it's going to automatically upload once it uploads I'm gonna let's see I'm gonna call this the same thing here it is right here I'm gonna call it headshot 2 let's see T. headshot 2 and I'm gonna save and share now once I get it saved um, you're gonna see you have a whole bunch of choices with what you can do with it you want to want the one that says HTML code and you'll click on it control C to copy it and you're all ready to go what we're going to do now that we have our photograph is come back to our Y stamp program 
If you remember, we work in the HTML program, so we're going to come down, we're going to put our cursor right here, and we are going to um, paste it right in. Here's where it talks about our photo bucket account. You'll see it's our photo bucket and it's linked so it has the HTML code. So let's go ahead and take a peek to see how it looked. And there you have it. Our picture is right underneath our signature. So we're moving along at a really great pace. Okay. Alrighty. The next thing I like to do is head over to the visual now. And what we're going to do is up at the top you know, however you like to typically sign your things, I like to do um, to your success or whatever. Um, let's make this a capital here. You can actually now start playing with the various features. You can bold it. You can make your um, the, the text that you like. You can change the color if you want to. Whatever you like to um, suit your personality. Then underneath your picture, you can go and you can start entering your contact information. So um, this is for Betty Boop and um, your phone number and then your website. Alright, so there you have it. So now you have all that information for Betty Boop all entered in here. And again, you can play with this and, and make it truly unique and truly your own so that it um, matches your personality and how you want people to go about reaching out to you. Alright, so there it is right there. The next thing that you're going to want to do is add your social profiles. Okay, so this first one here is for LinkedIn. So if you have a LinkedIn account, you're going to want to put it right here, which is your www.linkedin forward slash whatever your name is. So you're going to do that for the, all of the social profiles that you have. And you would just select the little arrow to help you select the ones that you want. There are many out here for you to pick from. So whatever ones you belong to, go ahead. And then if you don't have some, you can click remove so you don't have that many showing. All right. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like now. Well, there you have it. We have to your success, Betty Boop, your picture, your information, and there's your contact information. So now you have everything on your program, on your file, on your signature file that you need to have somebody go out and be able to reach you. Now play with it. You can lay it out however you want to lay out your, your information. Uh, make it fun. Make it your own. Um, and I do hope that you enjoyed this video and saw how easy it is to truly set up your signature and make it personalized to you. Again, this is Terry Bork. I'm all about bringing you value. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend. And you know, if I can answer any questions for you, um, give me a call. My number 813-863-1452. Again, 813-863-1452. I'll see you on the next video where I'll show you how to um, put all this stuff out in your email account and on your AWeber account. To your success, you truly deserve it. Have a great day.